my friends. Welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in the What Month Is It Challenge that is hosted by Tammy at Happiness Created and I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But if you are new, welcome. My name is Brenda. I am so happy you stopped by today. If you're returning, I appreciate and love you guys all so very much. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here is DIY number one. So for this DIY, I started off with this sign that I found from the Dollar Tree. These really cool little tags with the alphabets from Joann's, and this paper came from Joann's as well. So I'm going to start off, I'm using my heat gun here to try to melt the glue um, on that bow there, and also that is holding the hello sign. Um, <clears throat> but... I, since I'm not at home, I didn't have my little Cricut spatula to help me uh, get those letters up. So I'm using a little table knife here, but I do um, get the letters. They do break, but it's okay because I was able to um, hot glue them close enough to each other that you can't tell it was broken. But this paper though, normally these Dollar Tree signs, the papers are so stuck on there, you know, I have to use the water and the scraper and all that stuff. And I was wondering how I was going to do that because I don't have my scraper with me. But it was just amazing because look how easily it comes off. And there was just a couple little teeny pieces that I had to get off. And it was amazing. I was so happy. <laughs> So once it was off, I just went with the paper and I'm just tracing this round on it. And then I'm using this spray adhesive. I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using that to adhere this paper to that board. And it works beautifully. It was It's really good. I really like it. And it is Elmer's brand. So if you see some, pick it up. Then I have these two paints here. That's Violet Pansy and this is Tanzanite. Hands and eight, something like that. <laughs> and I paint the hello words with both of those. The um, One of them is just very kind of sheer and, sh and metallic and shiny. And I just thought they were so pretty. And so I am just hot gluing the words hello onto the board. Now, the reason why I am doing purple is because the birthstone for the month of February is amethyst, which is a very deep, beautiful color purple. So that is my theme for my video is purple to represent amethyst as well as the violet which is the flower of the month so um these tags i'm sorry i was talking to my grandson and i forgot to record i did take some of that uh purple paint and just kind of went all around the edges of these little tags and then i just strung them onto my jute twine and i tied a knot on both ends and then I'm just hot gluing those ends to the back of the sign like you see me doing here. And then after that, I'm just going to get the letters all separated and hot glued onto that sign. Now you might see the little white spot on the bottom of the paper. Some hot glue got on my paper and it ripped it. But that's okay because I have plans of covering it up. <laughs> so then I took some of these flowers. These are paper flowers from Hobby Lobby. They looked like violets to me so I got them and I just hot glued three of them on the bottom to cover up that spot. Then I took some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just making my Brenda bow where I use the awareness ribbon um, sign and then I scrunch it up in the middle and I'm just using some jute twine here to wrap around the middle um, so that it stays a bow. <laughs> And then after I am done here, I am going to dovetail the ends. And then I am going to um, take some greenery bushes that I found at the Dollar Tree here um, at my son's. And I am going to pull off uh, a few of those uh, pieces there. And then I'm just going to hot glue them right on the top. After I'd cut out the paper, I noticed that it had some of the trim of, on the bottom of the paper there. But I thought, that's okay. We'll just cover that right up with some of these floral picks and with my bow. So after that, I realized that one side was still a little too long. So I had to trim it. 
and then I'm just gonna hot glue it and that is all there was for this I think it came out adorable my daughter-in-law loves it and um, yeah it's so pretty you have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below Okay, so today's collaboration is called What Month Is It? And it is where we go in and create DIYs that reflect the different characteristics of the month. And it is hosted every month by my friend Tammy at Happiness Created. And this month's co-host is Teresa with Teresa B DIY and LaParsha with Creating It Myself. And its special guest host is Lainey with Crafty Lainey. And if you don't know who these ladies are, Make sure you go check them out. They're all amazing crafters. So check out their channels. Uh, show them some love. Subscribe. Give them the thumbs up. All the good stuff. And then make sure you check out the playlist. I will have links to all of those in my description box below. So let's get to the next DIY. So DIY number two. So for this DIY, I took this set of wreath rings and some Chanel um, yarn that I got from Dollar Tree and these pansies slash violets that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. So I took one of those wreaths and I am just taking this yarn and I am going to hot glue it just like you see there and then I am going to just start wrapping that yarn around um, the wreath form like you see now this got a little I did end up cutting this because you know it was kind of a pain to try and take all of it and wrap it so I do cut some of it off and it made it a little easier to wrap but I just go around and wrap the whole thing I did not have to use any hot glue except for at the beginning and at the end so here I'm just finishing up you can see I had cut off the big uh, thing of yarn there and um, then I just go to the end, I trim it, and I'm just going to hot glue it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay, and then after that, I took some of that paper, and I just hand drew um, what looked like the shape of the ear. And I'm just going to add a little hot glue all around the edges and wrap it with my yarn. When I had a different idea for this, but as I was wrapping that wreath, uh, form I just kept seeing a bunny rabbit and so I thought okay maybe I can make some ears and make this into a little rabbit and I love the way this came out and uh, I th just think it's so cute too so here we go I'm just finishing it up by adding a little dot of hot glue and then I take both those ears because I made two of them and I am just hot gluing them to the back of the wreath form like you see me doing right there and then after that, I'm going to take uh, some of this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree. I just think it's so pretty. I just made a little bow. I wrapped some of that yarn around the middle. I would not do that because it really doesn't hold very tight. So I just made sure um, that I added extra hot glue when I'm adding it onto my wreath form. But um, I was playing around here and I just add my hot glue there and glue it on, glue it in place. And I'm just going to take one flower and stick it on the top there. And these flowers are paper flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. They were, I think, 50% off. And then I took three more, and I am just going to hot glue them all on the bottom. So I kind of thought these looked like violets, but I don't know if they are or not. But they're purple, which represents the birthstone of February. And that's all there was for this. And I think it came out adorable. Again, all these projects that I'm making around my son's house, my daughter-in-law gets to keep. And she thought this was so cute. And I'm glad. <laughs> you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find my links in my link tree in the description box below. As well as links to some of my other sites. So, here is DIY number three. 
So I know some of these projects are really easy guys. It's, it's all because I'm not at home right now. So I'm kind of having to make these easy projects. So I started off with that jar from Dollar Tree, these flowers from Dollar Tree, and then my folk art paint. I got both of those at Joann's while I was here. So I'm just gonna start by using a baby wipe to clean the outside of my jar. Then I just took some of that um, violet pansy, I think it's called. And I'm just giving this jar a good coating. And I do think I have to go over it twice. I, I do believe I gave it two coats. And then once that was all done and dried, I'm going to take the other paint. I think it's Tanzania. Tanz, Tanzanate? I'm not. I'll have it in my description box, guys. And then I'm just kind of doing some dress, dry brushing because it's really metallic and shiny. And I really liked it, but I actually think I did more than dry brush. And I think I really covered most of it because I just, actually, I was talking to my daughter-in-law as I was doing this and I just kind of got it carried away. So, <laughs> but I still love it. I think it came out really pretty. So once it was dry, I took some of these beads. Now I was thinking about painting these white, but they go with the ribbon I'm going to use. So I went ahead and kept them this color. But again, if you recreate this project, you know, make it your own. You can paint them a different color if you'd like. But um, I'm just going to go around and hot glue this all around the top. And then I'm going to hot glue them all around the bottom as well. Then after that, I took some of this ribbon that I also got from Dollar Tree. And I just love it. I think it's really pretty. And I'm just going to hot glue, wrap it around the, the top of the jar there and just hot glue it. In place just like you see and I'm sorry for the moving camera you guys um, they have three dogs here and they kept moving running into the chair I have my uh, camera holder on the chair and they kept running into it and making it move so I apologize for that so once I have this all on there, then I'm just going to take that same ribbon and make a little bow, just like I always do. And I have some jute twine to wrap around the middle. And then I am going to hot glue that onto the ribbon on that jar. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. I am so happy to have you stop by today. If you like home decor on a budget, thrift flips, holiday decor, gift ideas, then hit that subscribe button, become part of our family. I'd love to have you join. And then comment in the comment box below. Let me know you're here and let's get to know each other. And if you like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up. Um, that really does help my channel grow. It helps let YouTube know that you like my content and it will um, support it a little bit more. So after I have that all hot glued on there, I am going to take my pansies. I'd already cut them off with the big stem and I just stuck it in and that was all there was for that one. And it's really cute too. You'll have to let me know what you think about this. But that is all there is for this one, you guys. I thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you to all of you who are continuing to pray for my son. Um, he's having a few rough days, but overall he's still doing good. So thank you so much. And I just ask that you continue to pray for him. And with all that being said, guys, I will be back on Friday with another video. So have a blessed week and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.